Good day, Aquarius. Welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. All right, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay. One more. Thank you. Okay, let's get the clarifiers out and then we will start the reading. Um, all the decks I'm using today are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. Oh, and also... Last week, I forgot to do your messages from them cards. So you're getting a bonus at the end. <laughs> so stay tuned. All right. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use a bonus deck at the end of yours because you missed out last week. Card number two, please. I hope you're having a good one wherever you are. Whatever you're doing, card number three. Okay. All right, let's start. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, if someone feels they can open their heart to you, two of wands, but they're not sure on how to do it. Three of Wands, so they're just going to wait. They want to open their heart to you. They feel it's safe to do it, but they're not sure what action to take, so they're just waiting. It's going to wait for you to come to them. Wait for you to come towards them. Hmm... There's obviously some sort of feeling between you two. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let's see what their friends are doing. The Hermit. Okay. The Lovers. They're saying, have a good think about it before you make a choice here. The Chariot. Another major arcana. Don't go rushing into anything I'm hearing. And the Death Card. Wow, four major arcana. Don't go rushing into anything. You'll kill it, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> like, you'll kill the relationship. The, the relationship will end. Like, don't mess it up. So the friends are saying, have a good think about it before making any choices about rushing into anything. You don't want to end it before it begins. Okay. So that's why they're not sure on what action to take, and they're just waiting. All right. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Ooh, what's the deception about? Page of Cups. Page of Wands. And the Moon card. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Loving communication could be an apology, passionate communication, flirting, and fear, so they're hiding. Hiding the fact that they want to speak passionately and emotionally, lovingly to you. Hiding that fact. Hiding behind a mask. Because of fear. That's interesting. Keeping it a secret. Oh, they could be speaking to other people. Flirting and... May apologise for flirting with others in secret. No, that doesn't... Doesn't really make sense, does it? Hmm. 
being immature, acting immature. Perhaps they're acting immature. Let's keep going, see what we can find out. Three more cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. While we're getting these out, feel free to hit the like and share and subscribe. And whoa, they exploded and all came out at once. Oh, no, nope, that one landed first. All right. Yeah, hit the like and subscribe button. That'd be nice. Okay. It's free. Let's get these ones out. And then we'll... After I read this row, we'll do the bottom of the decks. And then I'll do your messages and the bonus cards. All right. Clarify card number one. Whoa, that nearly flew off the table. But I caught that one. Card number two. Hmm. That one again. And card number three, please. Another single card. Alright. Let's see. Oh, as in one card. Alright, what have we got here? Phoenix transmutation. Mm, rising from the ashes. Hoping something is going to... Mm. Ooh, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Wow. There's that Wands and Cups energy again. Cups and Wands energy. Perhaps they're, they're, ha they're only showing a little bit of this love and passion towards you. A very small amount. They're hiding the rest. Because, wow, they want... They want to begin with passion and love with you. They want this to transform, well, transmutate, rise from the ashes and become very loving and passionate. Right from the start. Mm. Willow Spirit Flexibility. It's come out for a few signs, that card. Ooh, Page of Cups. Again. Flexibility. I'm not getting. I'm not getting apology. I'm getting messages of love. Flexibility. So that might be various ways that they'll show little bits of love to you. Very flexible in the ways that they can show you little glimpses of love. Once this transforms, it's going to be beautiful. But yeah. And unicorn purity with the tower. Out of nowhere, wanting to see you to see that they are like a unicorn, very pure and rare, majestic, and <laughs> like a unicorn, yeah. Not the usual type. Out of nowhere, they're going to show you a completely different side to them that they are this amazing energy, this amazing one-of-a-kind person. Not, yeah, that's the deception that they're immature and, yeah, and a scaredy cat. And they're not. They're going to be, show you this beautiful love once they work out how to come... <laughs> <laughs> and open up to you. All right, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That's what they want to do. Is come in and be honest about how they feel about you. The emperor. Wow. Yeah, that, I told you. That, yeah, they're <coughs> much more mature. The deception is that they're immature. They're not. They've got it all together. Very in control. Not controlling, very in control of themselves, very mature, all for kings in one, that is, male or female, um, can rule an empire. They know what they're doing. They're very mature. They get, yeah, much more mature than what you think, what their the deception is here. Our spirit wisdom, very wise. 
Very intelligent, I'm hearing as well. Intelligence doesn't necessarily mean wisdom, but in this case, they've got both. So, mm, very good, nice energy. And the Hierophant, yeah. Belief systems. Wise in their beliefs and looking for commitment. This is the Hierophant, it means commitment. Yeah, they, they are looking for a commitment here, a real committed relationship. I don't see them playing the field or... No, they're looking for something real here. And I think they're going to shock you by who they really are because they're portraying the deception is that they're... <coughs> yeah, maybe a bit of a goofball is what I'm hearing. But, yeah, they'll show you love in all different types of little ways. And once this becomes something, wow, yeah, the love and passion will flow, definitely. All right, let's see what they would like to say. Hmm. I'm a bit nervous about doing these cars now. <laughs> Might wreck the reading. <laughs> nah. All right. What would this love energy like to say to Aquarius? Okay. So we have... You turn me on, I told you. <laughs> that passion, that passion. Oh yeah, they think you're hot, Aquarius. You make my skin tingle. Ooh, tingling skin. That's the love. <laughs> and I'm afraid of these feelings. Ooh. Yeah, because what do they do with all these feelings for you if you're not interested? So their friends are like, don't rush in, you'll wreck it. <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> so they're not really sure what to do. They're just waiting. And they are a bit afraid because they're feeling a lot for you feel a lot for you and I've got I need time to heal I'm not really sure what that's about what's this afraid it will never work out ah yeah if it doesn't work out it's going to take them some time to heal from this because they've got big feelings for you Aquarius all right now what deck will I use will I use this one use this one we'll try this one we'll see <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the phoenix again, which we've got here. Phoenix. Interesting. All right. Anything else Aquarius needs to know about this energy? Thank you. All right. Let's see what we've got. We have boat. Receiving what you need. Progression arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. All right. I'm getting receiving what you need. I think this person's energy once it is just what you need. I guess you're just what I needed. Okay. I'm just hearing that line. The rest of the song doesn't want to play. So, let's buy the cars. But, yeah, it's just that line coming out. So, yeah. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. I think this person has done their own self-work. They've, they're very, I just, yeah, they know who they are. They're not selfish at all. They just have done their work on themselves. They know who they are, is what I'm hearing. Kisses, ooh, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Oh, Aquarius, yes, and oh, look at that, twin flames. Oh, no, you don't want twin flames. But we'll go by the loveliness of what it says on the card, <laughs> won't we? Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So if we get rid of the, that, 
and just go by this. Yes, because twin flames, and yeah, unless you've both done all your work, which this person has, so maybe, maybe, but twin flames tend to burn each other and bring out the worst in each other. As much as they fire each other up with hot passion and romance and da da da, they also burn each other. So twin flames aren't good, soulmates are better. But we'll go by what's written on the bottom here because that relates more to what's on the table. So, yeah, someone who compliments you, you compliment each other. <sighs> Some balance, lots of love and kisses. Someone who is self-assured and knows how to take care of themselves. Receiving what you need. That's good. And what's at the bottom here? Oh, look at that. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Getting back out there. Plan set a date. Well, they might just ask you out on a date, Aquarius. Or, or get plan and set a date for you to meet up. <sighs> getting, not back out there. Getting out there with you. And you're the someone new. Wow, Aquarius. That's nice. That's nice. Mmm, very nice. Mm. I think I've got Aquarius in my chart. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, no complaints here. This is very nice. All right, well, that's your reading, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, be nice in the comments. I'm sure you will be with a reading like this. Who hey, complain? And um, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. All the best. And I'll catch you later.